The rain has helped the vines on the grapes to grow rampantly and the clusters are filling out nicely. One problem though is that all the wet weather has contributed to a disease that's very common in grapes in Oklahoma and that's black rot fungus. Now black rot fungus is usually going to develop wherever you're growing grapes. It overwinters on the overwintering canes and you won't even notice the lesions on there. Then in the spring when the leaves start to come out and we get some warm wet weather the fungal spores wash onto the foliage and you can end up with little tan spots that have tiny black fruiting bodies in the center. Very clearly little pinpoint black spots. That's black rot fungus getting started on the foliage. Then as the clusters start to develop and get more rainy weather, we start to get lesions on the fruit. And those may look like fairly harmless spots initially, but what happens is that the fungus engulfs that individual berry on the cluster and then it will blacken and shrivel up. And this is when we get a lot of calls from gardeners at harvest time. They'll call and say, call the extension offices and say, my, my grapes have turned to raisins early. What's wrong? And it's black rot fungus that's taken hold of them. The only way to eliminate black rot is to either control it all season long with a fungicide spray, or if you're an organic gardener, go ahead and, and allow the foliage to have some lesions on it. It won't hurt the vines. They're very vigorous. But as soon as your clusters start, sh start setting fruit after they've bloomed, put a paper sack over them. That will prevent the spores from washing onto the clusters and keep your grapes clean. Now you might want to remove those sacks from time to time through the summer and check them, but for the most part, that will provide a physical barrier to your clusters. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.